Do you mind if I? Polite permission in English. Hello, English learners. Today we're going to explore an important topic. Asking for permission politely. One of the most common phrases used to request permission in a friendly and polite way is, Do you mind if I? Let's break it down and see how to use it in everyday conversations. Do you mind if I? is a polite way to ask for permission. It's typically used when you want to do something that might affect others around you or might intrude on their personal space or time. This phrase is versatile and can be used in a variety of situations, whether you're at work, school, or even in social gatherings. Remember, when you ask, do you mind if I? You are essentially asking the other person if they have any objections to what you are about to do. When someone asks you, do you mind if I? The usual positive response, meaning, yes, you can, is actually, no, I don't mind, or simply, no. It can seem a little counterintuitive, but remember, the question is essentially asking if the action would bother you. So by saying, no, I don't mind, you're saying that it wouldn't. If you wish to deny permission, you can respond with, yes, I'd rather you didn't, or just, yes. This means that you would mind if they did the action they're asking about. Now, let's look at some examples to better understand how to use and respond to, do you mind if I? Example 1. A. Do you mind if I open the window? B. No, not at all. Meaning, yes, you may open the window. Example 2. A. Do you mind if I play some music? B. Yes, actually, I'm trying to study. Meaning, no, you may not play music. Now, it's time for you to practice. Let's create a hypothetical conversation where you use, do you mind if I? You can use any scenario you want such as asking to borrow something or asking to change something in your shared space. We hope this video has given you a better understanding of how to ask for permission politely in English using, do you mind if I? Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to use this phrase in your daily English conversations. Until next time, happy learning!